forró. Eu amo forró. Ich liebe forró. Eu amo forró. Olha forró. Ah, olha forró. Eu amo forró. Sydney and I'm here just to dance a bit of folk hall. Actually, I've got a, a friend from Brazil, and she annoyed me, really. She got on me to come over half a year and always said, oh no, I don't have time for it. And then I finally said, I'm going to come. And since that day, I've tried to make it as, come out as much as possible. One person that's dancing here quite a bit and he just told me one day to join along for a lesson and then uh, from then I kind of stuck on and started going once a week to a lesson and that's how I continued with it. Well, I grew up listening to all those kind of music. My dad used to listen to Luis Gonzaga, Jackson do Pandeiro, Dominguez, all these, do you know this year, all those guys. So, I think I'm really lucky for all kids to me. Sorry. We went to Brazil a few years back and um, found Foro there basically. Couldn't participate because couldn't find classes. Uh, we found more Foro here than we did there, as it happens in terms of teaching. So, one, two, three. Wow, two, three, one, two, three. Boa! Muito bem! The truth is, we went to Brazil and we went to Pojo and our girlfriends got stolen from us from guys that could actually dance better than us. <laughs> So we, thought, we better learn how to yeah, dance. Too. <laughs> that was the real reason why we decided to say lessons. Are you getting better? You're getting better, but not good yet. It's like funk or something good, you know, like Michael Jackson or Beatles, that uh, you don't know what is it, but when you're here, you recognize that it is good. It actually uh, yeah. just becomes such, a, such an all encompassing hobby. What happened is um, I was in some kind of Brazilian club in London, um, and then I saw some guys doing for hall, and uh, I like it. It looks like a good thing to do, um, so that's when I started doing it. And I was in love, and I am in love, and it's very nice. It's now a big part of my life. Because of that, I'm going to Lisbon, to Paris. Everywhere where we have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Every night at the Forró party, so it was my second life after all this stuff. So it was the Forró, the Forró scene from Sao Paulo. To think about the whole time, we're always learning new moves from all around the world and all different teachers. So it's a great international community of people. And it just means a very positive thing overall. My sister went to a forró in London. It was my first time there and I didn't know anything. And I obviously wanted to get involved. <laughs> so I started to learn. One, two, step. Forró you never see like fights or problems. And most people go there to dance, enjoy. So create a like, big community in London in whole Europe as well. It's, it's 
not uh, allowed uh, to to make the dance uh, boring, okay? So you have to get there, you have to think about it, it cannot be boring, it cannot be boring, I have to do something. It's Brazilian in London and for me it's amazing to see many people dancing for her from different nationalities. So. At the moment in Europe uh, there's a four home movement. Um, it's happened with other dances uh, like salsa. Because I knew that all of my friends was going to be there and the best teachers are here. I can learn new moves, new tricks, so it makes it more fun. And tonight is going to be a great party. It's a beautiful dance, um, really energetic. The whole community in London is amazing, really close knit, um, really exciting. There's loads of amazing things going on the Congress, the festival, um, for her almost every night. People, they look happy, they look like they were having fun. And I just said to myself, Sydney, you know what? You should go get a piece of that. That's what I did. Guy, <laughs> for dance, you need a little couple. But I think it's just good fun. Well, and, um, yeah, the social aspect as well. If you want to relax or if you want to meet good people, nice people, so come to Learn for Hall because it's amazing. Forgetting everything about the real life, getting away from everything. <laughs> yeah. Just, it just looked so. I don't know how to describe it. Actually, it's. I don't know. It just, it just amazed me somehow. I don't know. I can't even put it in words. Words wise. So I don't know. You know, very open-minded and very you know, friendly, so it's a good atmosphere to be in and you get to exercise and if you're interested in dancing, I think it's more or less the easiest kind of dance that you can actually do, a couple's dance, because the moves are quite, I mean, it is complicated, <laughs> but considerably to other dances, it's the easiest, I think, to start with. And yeah, it's a really sociable thing. Everybody's at all the parties and everybody dances with each other. But I love the movement as well. It's a, it's a bit more, uh, I don't know, uh, it's better than salsa, basically. Right? <laughs> There's not a lot of things you can do in London that don't cost very much money and follows another thing like that. <laughs> you can go and it's fairly cheap and. You know, you can't complain. You feel sorry for his dates, don't you? <laughs> uh -huh. um, you don't even get uh, much time to drink. Uh, of course, you just dance it, so it's quite healthy as well. Well, you know, to be honest with you, I've only been doing it for a few, uh, a few months. Uh, and I'm still learning, I'm still trying to, you know, get those, uh, you know, those groovy steps going, you know, the swinging, you can sometimes throw the lady up and down, or throw her up and then she just comes down on her own. Um, and I'm just going to just keep on going, see what happens, just try to perfect my own style. <laughs> as a couple but what I really like you have you don't have to go there as a couple because you just mix all the time you dance with different people and yeah it's it's quite close you dance really close but I really like it it's a really nice dance and it's so much fun and it makes you happy all the time <laughs> a lot and move and um... <laughs> yeah something that you have here not here but to have here the sound is so nice so you can have a relaxed sound and dance really close to your partner or you can have have lots of fun with your friends and do your pop moves <laughs> yeah.
pretty natural. It's pretty much being, I think. You're pretty much in the moment. When you do this, you don't try to you know, like turn your head off and just go for it. And it's a very good way of communicating somehow. It's like getting close to people. The strength of a whole group supporting each other and all you know, this long and sweat, isn't it? Matter if you're a beginner, people will still dance with you or advance weather. And uh, yeah, everybody are friendly and uh, it's what this great big photo really is brilliant. You know, you can enjoy yourself, you know, all night long, all day long. <laughs> Everybody loves a hug. And for whole, for lack of a better term, you are dancing and hugging somebody for hours. It's not the same person you dance with, with, with many different people, but there is that feeling of closeness and, and family that's just beautiful. It's a, a African Bantu word. Bantu have lot of lot of uh, uh, languages. One of them has this word for hobodo, which means something like cows lot of people together and also in 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 in, in, uh, in, in Brazil uh, some time ago people used to to use this word for hobodó also like also pagode is used to say oh there's some cows or there is a protest in the city i was in the city and was such a for hobodó there so it can be a big party it can be a lot of confusion this is for hobodó and and this is also what people started to say to 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 to, to 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 name the party, so there's a forhobodo, and it was a lot of things, and then they started to to get this this dance from also from from Europe from European uh, people, which was there doing. One of them is called Schottisch, it's a German dance, and you have now at what is Schott, yeah. So there's a lot of influence also from Europe. So, and then two 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 big guys, more there were more guys, but two big guys. Did uh, brought the the music for her from the northeast, northern east Brazil to the south, where you have also the whole the whole structure, also financial structure, and then it spread the for her music from to whole Brazil. So now for her you have for her so popular like like samba also. Going out. The, the instruments um, are basically uh, the accordion, a drum called the zabumba and the triangle, that's the basic ones. And uh, as I say, it comes from the northeast of Brazil, but it is a mix of African and the European culture. You dance, you dance a lot closer, it's a lot less showy. It's more about sort of foot movements and it's quite like sexy, everyone gets into it. <laughs> Quem 
whoever dances is my trouble. Yeah. 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 Y